What is up investors, Jason here. So looking over at the crypto market, we have a lot of red over in the crypto market right now. We got Bitcoin down more than 5%, Ethereum down more than 5%, Cardano down more than 8% uh, and so on here. So we, we have a lot of red and one of the things that's affecting the market right now is having to do with what's going on over in the stock market. We have a lot of tech stocks that um, are, are releasing earnings and there is a lot of fear and uncertainty and doubt or FUD, as I should say, uh, within that. And that's something that is definitely affecting the crypto market a lot because we have Bitcoin that is so intertwined in the stock market, uh, especially with tech stocks in general. Now, on this particular day, the NASDAQ closed down about 3.9% and the S&P closed down about 2.9%. And of course, we can't forget about things like geopolitical issues, inflation, interest rates, et cetera, et cetera, uh, all the things that have been affecting the markets lately. But I know you guys are all here for talking about uh, what does Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter mean for crypto, how this could be a good thing, in my opinion. So let's just get to this conversation. So as we do, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash the story on Ali or gently press that like button. Help me out with the algorithm. Help spread the content to people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you have not already. And please do if you do like crypto content because I do try to make the uh, content every single day. Now let's get to it. Well, I, I guess we're going to start here. Well, Elon Musk is not afraid to express himself, and it doesn't it doesn't matter if he's making some sort of joke attack on another one of the wealthiest people in the world. Where in this community, a lot of people are um, afraid to express themselves in a way of worrying about what what the um, the outcome could be. Where Elon Musk, he doesn't really have that filter that he even worries about, and him having no filter and not really caring is one of the best benefiting factors about him. He doesn't really have any reasons to have to apologize to people where if this was the other way around and we would see someone like Bill Gates make a joke like Elon Musk would make, uh, there, there could be a sort of cancel, a cancel culture type thing that would be out there to attack uh, somebody else. And Elon Musk is kind of that rock star uh, type mentality for, the, for being the wealthiest person in the world, but also at the same time being a lot more relatable to the younger generation. Now, the main goal that Elon Musk has with Twitter is he's trying to protect freedom of speech. Now, a lot of people will criticize that, saying, well, Twitter is a, a company. They are not the government. Freedom of speech is something that doesn't apply here. But in the case of what Elon Musk is really trying to get at is that Twitter is a company that has to abide by what the uh, shareholders say, and the shareholders in this case being Wall Street. Well, Wall Street aligns with or what uh, Twitter has to align with. So if if uh, sh large shareholders of Twitter have a problem with something, well, then this can create a bit of censorship. Now, in a recent tweet that Elon Musk made, he, he said the extreme antibody reaction from those who fear free speech say it all. Then uh, in a follow up tweet, he said, by free speech, I simply mean that which matches the law. I am against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less free speech, they will ask government to pass laws to that effect. Therefore, going beyond the law is contrary to the will of the people. Now, I'm sure everybody remembers the famous tweet that Elon Musk made back in 2018, where he said Tesla to go private at 420, uh, funny secured. Now, that tweet had created a huge is issue with the SEC, where the SEC said that Elon Musk needs to verify such tweets with somebody. There needs to be somebody appointed to verify tweets that Elon Musk makes. Now, he actually did not go that route and, and put anybody in place to do such a thing. Now, the SEC has not stopped trying to pursue Elon Musk. And Elon Musk and his lawyer, they're still fighting this battle. And uh, Elon Musk's lawyer had recently just said to uh, U.S. District Judge Allison Nathan of Manhattan that the SEC's pursuit of Mr. Musk has crossed the line into harassment, which is quintessential bad faith. So obviously, Elon Musk has had a lot of problems with censorship on Twitter. But where this really plays out into how would would Elon Musk purchasing Twitter be good for crypto? Well, Elon Musk is just known for pumping um, things on on Twitter, you know, where t Tesla does own Bitcoin on its balance sheet. We know that Elon Musk talked about uh, implementing Dogecoin uh, to buy goods on uh, Tesla as well. So there, there's different 
aspects to that as well. But also, Elon Musk is just pro crypto in general, which is another uh, benefiting factor to him owning Twitter, which is the grounds where a lot of a lot of people do pump crypto on. Now, uh, another area where it can be beneficial is the bots, where where Twitter does have a lot of bots, and there are a lot of different scams on Twitter. And a good amount of those scams, actually, there are a good amount of crypto scams on Twitter uh, with Twitter bots. So if this is something that could be tackled and fixed, this is, this could also help give uh, a better name to crypto for people that do naysay a lot with a lot of the crypto scams that are out there. So uh, if that's one area that Elon Musk can help fix, getting rid of the getting rid of the bots, getting rid of, rid of the fake post, um, th- that is another good plus for crypto as well. And not only that, I mean, what grounds does the SEC really have when Twitter is a private company, Elon Musk owns it? What what grounds does he have to not be able to promote something on his own platform in this case? So if a lot of the regulations that Elon Musk had were based off of Twitter itself, off of uh, him using Twitter, well, if he owns Twitter, then what grounds does the SEC say, hey, you can't do that? So these are all different things that, um, that I'm sure will start to unfold more as time goes on. But in general, we know how Elon Musk can really move markets with crypto uh, on just a simple tweet. So um, I think that that's another thing that can be beneficial, especially if he was saying that, you know, some sort of idea with Bitcoin that he had or something like that. If he had more freedom to just talk about the things that he finds interesting, um, I think that that can be something that can be very beneficial for discussion on uh, on Twitter in general. And where could it go from there, especially with Twitter's um, NFTs and things like that that they've already worked on implementing and and Elon Musk evolving that into more maybe accepting more crypto as a payment option on Twitter and uh, and and Twitter evolving from there so we'll have to see how this all plays out but I think it's exciting stuff so anyways I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on Elon Musk purchasing Twitter what do you guys think that is going to happen with uh, crypto what do you guys think about dogecoin um do you think we're, we're going to see dogecoin mooning uh, more so with uh, with elon musk going twitter i'd like to know so with that being said please like share comment subscribe new content coming out all the time i'll see you all in the next one